Maybe slightly older and a little bit bored. No. <laughs> Go on. I don't know how to say this, but... Before you say it. Yeah. Because I'm going to ask you the question again. Because I'm, I'm all about the existential questions. That like how did you feel? How was it for you? Um, sure, I'm <laughs> Going back to the point about no something coming from nothing, right? The Quran even makes the argument that look, um, did you make yourself? Did you, did, like, where, where did you come from? Do you know what I mean? So the, these are the questions that you need, you need to reflect, does it make sense? Because it's not like you made yourself, it's not the universe made itself. No. Because that's a contradiction, because it meant that it existed and not existed at the same time. I'm saying that look, it was calls into being through something all-powerful with will, with intelligence. Do you know what I mean? And that be that creator, that almighty God, Allah, um, created us for a reason and told us what that reason is through prophets and messages and the final revelation of the Quran. So, how do you feel about that? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it's so don't really feel anything about it, to be honest. Just, yeah. Madam, um, you're hard not to crack, I ain't gonna lie. By I'm now, by now. Just, yeah. Yeah, let me. Just, just, literally, just, I'm gonna crack you. There's a hammer in that bag. Yeah. <laughs> First, I'm all nice and passive and make logical arguments. Then I bring out like, my weapon. Okay. Yeah, What's the on. weapon? Huh? It's a hammer, isn't it? <laughs> What is he going to say? Knife or a sword? Like, come on. God, no, we're, not, we're not in the 1400s. Uh, I think it's a sword, I don't know. Taser? I don't know. No, I don't mean I didn't an actual weapon. <laughs> no. my, my, my greatest weapon is the Quran, does that make sense? So, yeah. I'm trying to... Like, you know... <clears throat> my claim that it's more logical and rational, that's through a logical inference, do you know what I mean? Now, if you want something physical, something tangible, something you can read, because I don't know, you can leave the conversation not believing, um, but then it's like you've already agreed on many of the core elements. Does it make sense? So if it makes more sense for there to be a creator and it didn't come from nothing, you agree that God will give us guidance, yeah? Then wouldn't that guidance just be perfect and unchanged? Like the Bible, do you believe it's perfect, unchanged word of God? Or, huh? Then why are you not taking advantage of something that how easy is it to disprove something's not perfect? If you've read it, find one mistake, something you don't disagree with, then mm -hmm. I mean, for a good rational reason, then yeah, leave it. Then I mean, I'm yeah. not saying disagree as in your desires. I mean, disagree as in like, it logically, there's a flaw, it doesn't make well, sense, there's a contradiction. Then leave it. Does it make sense? There's many things. about that. Like, What's it about? The, um, not about anything. I just like, don't care at all <laughs> basically that's what it is there's nothing really to crack there's nothing to disprove i know the bible's a bunch of crap i know the history of it that's offensive that madam <laughs> it is though it's been translated so many times a lot of it is like incorrect at this point now yeah. not incorrect but mistranslated it's been sort of translated in certain it's ways to fit different political agendas and things like that even during like the civil war and things like that you weren't even really allowed to like be able to read it they didn't even translate it into english until like henry the eighth wanted his own sort of version out there so it's just sort of um i know that that's just nonsense if thank I was you sort of, like, i'm so glad that i'm not a christian no it's very, being a christian is, is pretty um, alhamdulillah pretty divisive and you got all the mega churches and all that nonsense but um yeah it just sort of like don't care, just sort of like open to it, but also, yeah. What's gonna happen to you when you die, madam? I'm What's just, your name, by the way? I'm just gonna die. What's your name? Nothing will happen, I'll just not exist anymore. What's your name, madam? Rebecca. You mentioned it, damn it, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah. Very biblical name, Ridwan. Oh, nice to meet yeah. you, Ridwan. Um, you're just gonna die. Yeah, I'm alright that. Like, don't you go to bed? You don't know that you're like sleeping for most of it. Oh. No, that's just what it's gonna be like. Just gonna it's like being unconscious, but you just like never wake up. And I'm cool with that, to be honest. You, you sound quite certain of it. Not certain of it, but that's just like. So right now. To expect anything else. 
the Quran. You're just you're just blissfully ignorant. You're just avoiding reading the Quran. So from your worldview, you're just gonna go to sleep and never wake up. Probably. Yeah. And that's by the way a very minority position. All the major religions have a concept of heaven and hell. That being know, said, but they weaponize them. As they well. have, they Mostly have. Like Christianity, anyway. No, so no, they, they have. Weaponize it a lot. They have. And now I would argue my perfect scripture, the Quran, from revealed by God Almighty, Allah, uh, talks about a glad tidings for those who believe and severe punishment who, for those who do, choose to disbelieve. And I know it sounds like quite uh, weaponized, like, oh my gosh, severe punishment. But the fact of the matter is, imagine for a second, yeah. Um, the perspective, God created everything. Yeah? Yeah. God created mankind and human beings. And right now, they're going through disbelief. And you're like, but well, what's the point? I'm just disbelieving. But through your disbelief, not only are you harming yourself, you're harming others. Because you don't have an objective morality. You're going through thinking you're doing what's good for you. But in reality, you're harming society. Not you yeah. personally, I'm not attacking you. I don't, you, I don't know you that well, Rebecca, even though you seem I'm quite laid large. back. <laughs> huh? I'm at large. Fuck yeah. me up. <laughs> yeah. But then it's like, you've got people like breaking homes and um, like people getting impregnated and getting raised in, like without parents and like the kind of social decline and people like taking drugs and drinking alcohol and all this X, Y, Z. Tick, tick, tick in my diary. Yeah, that's a good Friday night. I like Where drugs enough. Oh. What drugs? <laughs> yeah. What drugs? Um, mostly weed, but I also like coke and sometimes just, I don't know, other stuff. Like half a pill or something like that. Yeah. Depending on where I am. Uh, Not that often. Mostly weed. I'm a Lots of alcohol. Substance misuse worker. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, what do you so. class as substance misuse? Um. So it includes all the illegal drugs that you've mentioned, as well as alcohol and cigarettes. And ironically, cigarettes and alcohol are affecting the most amount of people, killing uh, the most people. I don't smoke. I don't know why, I just never took to it. You do? Because in your spliff or roll-up, you're putting in a little bit of tobacco, no? No. Yeah. Fury, yeah? Yeah. It uh, sounds bad, but... <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't. It's actually... It sounds bad, but it's just like... Just I don't know, I just, it's just, it's just like, it's just like, it's far up. It doesn't sound bad and because... The cigarettes, the taste is just horrible. Tobacco is what causes the cancer. And it stains walls. I didn't know that. Chemical. Cannabis, weed doesn't, yeah? No, no, because it Cannabis doesn't, doesn't, it's not, it, it's, there's, like, the chemicals that they spray tobacco with, even in cigarettes, there's something... And, and by the way, you don't stain. smoke weed, by the way. It's very difficult. I can't say you personally. No, it's probably just like skunk. Think, skunk, yeah. It's very difficult to come by weed, especially in this country. But obviously, Islamically, we don't promote smoking any drugs. But if you're going to smoke um, cannabis, then it's best to do it without the tobacco and using a filter as well. Yeah. Not really. But anyways, I'm not. <laughs> a bit of card. <laughs> Maybe. And you know the card? Is you're meant to actually use a card that doesn't have ink on it. Yeah, so you know you get like the rules, like the yeah, paper yeah. Books. Or just generally, like, people just get random cards and then if it's got ink on it, the heat, vapour, um, you're adding more chemicals to the mix. Yeah. And then you have to be con conscious of the roll-up bar. Yeah. By the way, are you aware this is being recorded? Yeah. Would you like me to edit out the last part about what you do in your spare time? Damn, what do you do? You're a boss. I work in, um, I'm a recruiter for events. So if you know anyone that's, well, not right now, but if you do know anyone that's looking for work or anything like that, we do. At like Haram, at events. Haram events. Yes, where there's, you're where not allowed to smoke a drink. Well, you can smoke if you want, but. Yeah, but there's, yeah, there's going to be drugs like there. Events, but sometimes there's going to be music. There's going to be well, there's loads fornication of, in the bathroom. Well, not at like a metaverse conference, no. <laughs> we do events like Who that. knows? Who knows? I know, we did like the coronation as well, we do all like the royal events, I don't know why. But really? Yeah, yeah, it's a really, it's a really good opportunity. 
people that want to get into events, if, if anyone's interested in like being like a, getting into like a light technician and stuff like that, um, sound technician. What's the youngest like people you would like involve? Um, we can own, we, we're not allowed to hire people plus. under 18, yeah. yeah. It's right. like a liability thing, insurance, if they get hurt. Uh, I might take your card. Have you got a card? Because uh, I work with young mommy, people. I work mommy, with young we're people. Show force. Alright, let me make a note of that. Yeah. See, so now you're getting advertisement, free advertisement. Show force. Yeah. In fact, I'll get off the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're literally just based like down there. Okay. Past like the courts. Alright, nice, nice, yeah. nice. But that's not what my viewers want. My viewers okay, want. Viewers want to, they want. They want content about theology, madam. Okay. They're curious to know about what you believe and your lack of belief. Um, so we got we got distracted by yes, we're talking about hellfire. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasantly, cool. and we're talking about like. And then they look. You might partake in substances, right? But as a whole, if you had a choice to ban alcohol or not ban alcohol, what would you choose? Yeah. There you go. And in Islam it says that look, um, like when it came about the prohibition, like in regards you can't do it, it was like oh, um, there's more harm in it than good, yeah. don't go near salah, like prayers when you're intoxicated to the point that look, don't even do it. Yeah, I think my, my brother told me that someone told him that if you, if you drink or you smoked or something like that, that you... Um, there was a Muslim guy that told me something that, you, you, that Allah's not going to hear your prayers for 40 days or something like that. Allah will hear your prayers, but you just won't get the reward for 40 days. You still have to pray. Okay. Um, and yeah. So that being said, so that's my point. Like now, you see the vice in it, you partake in it yourself. However, Islam, Allah is saying that, look, this is a blanket rule for everyone. Yeah, don't do it. And then when you don't do it, there's domestic violence goes down, um, car accidents go down, the number of A and E uh, admissions go down. Do you know what I mean? By default, like my elderly mom is getting a doctor's appointment and she's able to get the treatment. Not really, in reality, no, it's because there's less pressure on the a &E NHS. On like a Wednesday is different to an A and E on like a Friday night, <laughs> like a Saturday or something. Yeah. There you go. Um, the amount. Um, Seven out of ten cases of people who have cancer is smoking related. Yeah. Why is it smoking is legal? Because government lobbying. makes government makes a lot of tax from a lot of money from it and lobbying. Does it make sense? So I'm saying that look, in Islam we have these divine laws that's best for the world. So then it's like, yeah no, nah, I'm just not gonna believe. I'm not gonna follow any laws given by the creator. Hence there needs to be a deterrent. Yeah. yeah. And what about the reward for the believers? Does it make sense? Yeah. Like imagine a world where you don't, there's no illness, you don't get fatigued for eternity. Imagine infinity, infinity. You know what I mean? You can't imagine paradise, you can't imagine infinity. It's beyond our comprehension. Yeah. Are you more inclined to read the Quran now? Uh, I would say that, look, madam, I'm going to give it to you, it's free of charge, mm -hmm. under one condition All right. that you have the intention to read it sooner or later. Well, um. yeah. You can give it to your partner, share it with your partner. Do you have Muslims in your family? Yeah. Well, bring your brother here, I want to chat to him. I think he would really like to chat to you. Is <laughs> it? Like, uh, well, he's a chef, he works a lot, so I don't know how you would get him here, but. He would, I think he, he's, he's, much more in, he's much more of an interesting person to have this conversation with than me, definitely. I'll be honest with you, your lack of eh, not being fussed, I've, I've never really got that before. And I've been doing this for a number of years. Well, so, generally, yeah, like, probably host, like, people are quite hostile or something. No, no, people generally ain't hostile. Um, well, after I've had such a lengthy conversation, People are willing to have such a lengthy conversation, but at the end of it, the position on the matter has changed. Oh. Okay. You know so, generally, today is a special occasion because yeah. of the day of Arafat, it's a holy month, holy 10 days we're in. Um, today is the 9th, so what I'll do. Oh, yes, 
that? Everyone's fasting on that. I forgot about that, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, we have an office, we have an office, we have an office in Dubai, we have an office in Saudi as well. Damn. Yeah. And Can so, I work in Dubai? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Is it? We're going to yeah. talk, I'm going to send you some emails. Rebecca. Yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you my email address now and you can, when we're doing our next recruitment days, what, is it for you or like people that Maybe, yeah, in Dubai, I don't mind, I don't yeah. mind. You'd have to work stuff. in the UK first for a bit and then once we know that you could be trusted, you're not going to like flow out on ships and stuff like that. That's so Islamophobic. Blow up on ships. No, blow out. Blow ships. up, like, why would you make that comment, man? No, blow out, as in like... I know, I know, I know. Like, Skybuff you know works. I mean? When you just fucking... Yeah, you just yeah. disappear and stop answering your phone. Yeah. until the next day when you're ringing me and saying, is there any work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's calm, that's calm. We get that a lot. Um, all right, what was I saying? Yeah, so, so you, you were saying something and interrupted you. So something about Dubai and this no, day. No, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it, it did, it, the world's going to say it doesn't really mean anything. It was just, yeah, I did, I did know that it was like a holy like period right now just because of like emails. And I think there's like a sort of bank holiday thing coming up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We've got eat tomorrow as well. We've all like agreed not to, um, for this whole period that we will just like not eat um, at our desks or anything like that. Oh, and snacks right. and shit like that just to, just to be like respectful just because. Not that the not that the people that are fasting are like you know gonna be swayed by it, but it's just to show like nice. yeah. politeness is nice, isn't it? Yeah, and exactly. I, and I respect that. Like you know, I've worked in some environments, and they don't give a damn. And other ones are like, oh, um, sorry, we just I just asked about lunch. Uh, I hope I didn't offend you. I'm like, no, you didn't offend me. No, <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, so it's about finding that balance. And I think that yeah, like and even in Dubai, like you've seen, like you know, the crime rate is just non-existent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You just leave your laptop and you come back and it's there and your phone is there. Do you know yeah, what I mean? my mom's partner actually, he was in a car with his friend um, when he went out to visit him in Dubai and they went to like a restaurant and then he remembered that he'd like forgotten his like wallet just like on the sort of dashboard mm. and he was like really trying to just like get out and get it. The friend thought it was about paying, he was like no I'll just pay and he said no it's going to get stolen, my wallet's not going to be there, his passport was there as well, everything, because yeah. he's like it was his first day there. They got back, it was still there. He was like, I've never seen anything like it. And the money was in all London, intact. it would all be all of it would be gone. It would be he was expected to go back to the car and it's smashed and to be doing all that. I told yeah. you so, I told you so. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. And and that's it. And that's because they implemented um, laws of Sharia, which is works as a deterrent. Um, you do it once and trust me, no one's gonna wanna break the law again. You know what I mean? And it's a law that makes sense as well. Pardon? You miss it like a finger or something like that. Though. It's a bit more, a bit more than that, a bit more than that. And I don't have issue with it, but I don't want to like um, diverge our conversation, diverge, diverge conversation from the topic in hand. Yeah. Um, and I get distracted easily. So then, the moral story is, yeah, I'm here on Saturdays. Tell your brother to come down. Um, I'm usually here between two thirty and. Six. Yeah. So if he's around at that time, and I'll be good, and then you can have a part two with your sibling, and then see the contrast. No, he's like, trust me, he's, it's, it'll be a whole different thing. Yeah. He's, uh, he's very, he's very relaxed as well. Yeah. Like I am. Uh, it's not but relaxed. You're relaxed, but it's just a matter of not giving a damn. No, no, no. Like there's a. Point it's that not the look, it's not don't you stop wrong, caring. It's not that I don't like give a damn. You just don't like, give you know, a damn. If I was to like pick something to like follow and things like that. Islam is like the, the best one, arguably. Mashallah, Christianity Mashallah. is sort of like the bottom of the pile. Um, yeah. You know, every like I've, I've like worked in Islam before and things like that. Met obviously loads of like um, loads of like Muslim guys um, who would come from like the UAE and things like that. Well, at like, uni and stuff like that, and girls as well. You know, like lovely people to be honest. Some of the least um, like fire and brimstone and patronising and self righteous. It doesn't. You guys don't come with any of that. So if I was to, if I was going to follow something, then yeah. But it's just sort of like brilliant. Repeat after me, and you can become Muslim. <laughs> Uh, this, no. is, this, 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 this conversation is taking they, such a positive turn. They like, understand that I did not expect it to turn like this. Though, like, I'm low key afraid that Jesus is going to be so pissed. <laughs> but <coughs> you know, no Muslim is a Muslim until they believe in Jesus Christ. It's an article of faith. Like, you can't be a Muslim if you don't believe in Jesus Christ. You can't be a Muslim until you believe in Moses. Yeah. You can't be a Muslim until you, you believe in Abraham and all the prophets in between. 
you know, um, chapter 19, we have an entire chapter named after Mary, and it talks about the virgin birth. We believe in the virgin birth. Yeah? Um, chapter 3 um, is called Al Imran, named after the father of Mary. Okay. Does it make they sense? actually don't talk about the father of Mary at all. <laughs> because yeah. you know what I mean? It's like her her cousin in that. Because she's like John the Baptist's mum, but Yeah. But they might do. Like I said, it's been like fourteen years since I've like been to church. Yeah. No no they don't. They don't. Okay. They don't. Okay, cool. And they don't even talk about Mary that much. I think maybe in Cafe no, Rosemary. Really. It's just in... more, Mary it's more about um a couple of doesn't mean a woman, it's just more about like producing no but shooting, I think shooting there is they have fallen into error where they'll pray to Mary as well they what they'll pray to Mary yeah yeah but that's what we have loads of they have loads of like saints cults yeah. we call it a saints cult where it's just like you pray to like different sort of like saints Mary is yeah. one of them she's like it's like the biggest one you know all the Italians and stuff like that everyone loves Mary and you've got other ones like like St Francis and all, loads of, there's like loads, there's loads of St. Bernadette, there's loads of them. Loads, yeah. There's like hundreds, so thousands it, maybe of them, but that's just that was just to help Christianity to be more like a palatable to people by matching it up to their religion. So if they already had like a pagan god that they were worshipping in that area, um, they would then create like a saint <laughs> that does that exact same thing <laughs> and then say, look, here yeah, we believe in this person as well. And then that's how they would sort of like start getting them on the side sort of thing. So that's my point. Now like, you're gonna agree with this, like you know, in Islam, everything you've just mentioned is haram. Like it's forbidden. You can't worship anything apart from Allah. Be it Mary, be it Jesus, be it a saint. Like, we have pious people, but it's completely categorically forbidden to worship the creation. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like um, if you Google um, Khalid Yasin. Um, he made one of my favorite quotes where he said that um, he hadn't left Christianity because um, I think he was like a Christian pastor or priest, pastor I can't remember but then he's like you know when a suit doesn't fit you, you don't throw it away you just get it, you just get it tailored in it if it's a good suit you know what I mean? so he's saying that look, the Quran, uh, Islam is the completion of Christianity so what errors that Christianity had like so I've heard it said like you know you've got the Old Testament yeah. you've got the New Testament yeah. think of the Quran as the final testament oh you God. like that yeah <laughs> no because at the end of the day it's not telling you to reject the fundamentals it's amending the misnomers we've got like in the Quran it says like don't say Trinity yeah. like Jesus Christ was a mighty messenger sent by God nothing but a messenger do you know what I mean and we see him as somebody who's inspired by God. Like, no Muslim, like following him is a perfect example. Unfortunately, from the Christian narrative, that example has been lost. Do you know what I mean? So I'm saying that, what would you rather do? Yeah? Leave this conversation as someone who doesn't believe in the Bible. Doesn't believe Jesus Christ is God. Do you believe Jesus Christ is God? Or he's sent by God? What was your answer? Just. Because the fact of the matter is, you're quoting what the church is. Like, I'm talking about, like, genuinely, I'm going to have a conversation with you. Like, what do you believe? Do you believe a man that came from a woman, um, his private part was God, a baby that sold himself? Like God needs to eat and drink, well, defecate. To be human to be like a palatable version, sort of come like you know when you like stoop down and you talk to a child. That's what Jesus being a human was like meant to do. That sounds nice, to but our level sort of thing. but the reality of it is that's not the Christian narrative. The Christian narrative Maybe is like depends. God. God want to understand human being. I'm like God needs to become a man to understand human being. Oh, God need to forgive humanity. God need to become a man to forgive humanity. Like for the prophecy to be not prophecy, but like for God so love the world. Like for God to die on the cross, right? The perfect blood sacrifice. For that to be complete, that means God had to die on the cross. God was dead for three days and three nights. Yeah, but Yo, I didn't know what an example was. 
No, no, but, that, no, no, but then it has to be that. God. It has to be God. Otherwise, it's not a perfect blood sacrifice. So God died on the cross. So who's looking after the universe? But God's not really a human. He doesn't really like have the blood. But that's my point. But it's, but it's just meant to be like a representation of a sacrifice. Like the one, the last one he did before that was but, the, see, that, um, that's the thing. like um, the one with like, like Abraham and his son and then that just never ended up happening. He was like, no, you're good. But this one was supposed to be like really like, look, see, I'm dying. But obviously at the time. <coughs> and he's on the cross prepared. saying my, <laughs> My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Oh yeah, because it was a it was a human with human consciousness, but the spirit of God part of it anyway. Damn, you paid a lot of attention. I'm telling, I'm telling. It, 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 it goes through a lot. I told you, Catholics. It's it's from nursery, primary school, secondary school, sixth form college, and then you could go. I didn't go to a Christian, a Catholic uni because it was just sort of like I was just focusing on my subjects that I wanted to do, and. Then you met your boyfriend, and that was yeah. it. That was it's all history now. Yeah, but he's not. He's he's not. So I can imagine. Why well, am I not surprised? Atheist guy. <laughs> but I like to meet him as well. Yeah. Bring him down. Oh God, no, he just wouldn't even speak. I don't think he would. Why? Because he just no, he's just very exasperated with it. I think he, he dated this girl whose dad was a pastor, and it was just he was just a bit. I think he was just a bit of a dick. He's been put off pastors now. Yeah. He just has lasagna. No more pasta. <laughs> That's all it is. My classic dry sense of humor. <laughs> but my brother, he's the one. He would love it. He watches those guys that go to Hyde Park and that. Yeah, Speaker's Corner. Yeah. Who does he watch? Do you remember any of the names? Muslim There's guys like and non-Muslim. Like guy, and I think he's got a shaved head now. Yeah, yeah. And Mohammed he has like Hijab. A beard, beard. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah. Good that's guy, him. Yeah, and he talks to like lesbians and shit. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I should be doing. Huh? <laughs> That's what I should be doing. Oh, Is there God. any lesbians you want to chat to me? <laughs> um, it's ironic. That's what you remember. He's done some good stuff. You know what I mean? No, oh, he does. He does. He's a, he's a Have good, you watched any it's of a really his stuff? Debate. I was like, yeah, we watched it together. I was smoking weed. <laughs> That's what I was watching. And it makes it up. And then you enjoy it more after you've sparked up. Oh yeah, it's just in it's interesting, and it's just like it's good to like want to wind down, but still keep your brain a little bit active. But he's very good at like debating and stuff like that. And my brother's really interested in it. He spent a lot of time with like um, people that I think um, people that were like raised Muslim yeah. and stuff like that. Like a Muslim. So he like understands um, more about it than me, definitely. But he's um yeah, he's just he's just he's really interested. To be fair, to be fair, I should take one actually to give to him because he'd be interested in it. He'd love it. I'm gonna give you this. Yeah. And. I'm going to give this to your brother. I need one to give to him. But well, what about yourself? No, we can share. Are you sure? And I'm going to give you a Quran as well. But I'm going to give you two Qur'ans. Oh, this isn't it. <laughs> if you thought this was the Quran, then you're going to be very shocked. Let me just grab one, yeah? Well, is it fit? I've already got, I've already got look in this bag. You, you, we'll make it fit. Quran, please. My two beautiful assistants. Two Qur'ans. Quran. Two Qur'ans, please. Jazakallahu khair. How do you feel about this? I don't know. It's not going to fit in here. Plenty of space. Like Dear God, what book is that? It's Bleak House by Charles Dickens. I told you, I read, but like fiction. So you're going to read that? It's fun. Can we? Can you get it out and show it to the people? People need to see this. You're reading that, but you can't read this. Well, I've been reading this for ages. Yeah. <laughs> Just. I think give this to me. What Bleak House? It is actually really good. I is it? it? It's yeah. very like. It's very cool. There you go, madam. Let's not close the bag without putting a few of these in well, there. You can have this, nice try. You don't need to. No, to take this as well. Me on, on Jesus. No, no, but this is like the Islamic. Like it covers a lot of the points I've made, but with pictures and more articulately. Do you know what I mean? So this is the concept. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. And all these, they always make them to look like a sort of like vulva and stuff like that. Yeah. No, maybe it's the whole in design, but Very, yeah. Um, sorry, this is what I'm showing to the people. That image there. So yeah, this is it. Reproductive organ. I think that's just how you see. <laughs> so here, like, look, that's it. 
So the God is Father, the Holy Spirit is God, and the Son is God. So the concept of Trinity is this is what they believe. Yeah. And I'm saying that I don't think anyone with sound intellect who's thought about it, because I don't want to insult Christian people, people who thought about it would actually believe that. They have thought about it, but it just, um, it's more of a confirmation bias type thing. And plus it's easier. They like it, so they go, they go for it. It's not the like, I've reflected on this, potentially it's because they like it, but I think more so that it's just easy. You're guaranteed paradise, you don't have to do anything. Does it make sense? Paul came along, um, you can eat pork, you don't need to be circumcised, it's just like drink alcohol. I'm like, what do you have to do? You just have to believe and that's it, you're going to enter paradise. Like in Islam, we have a concept that it's like, Iman, faith, is belief in the heart, mm -hmm. um, testimony of the hand, and actions of the limbs. Okay. And it's like, what does Christianity have? It's just now you just believe, you just, and that's it. Well, I'm not Catholic, you're Catholic, you have to confess it all before you die. Confess your sins. To a priest. Yeah. in a box before you die otherwise no you do it on a regular basis isn't it yeah, and then so you do it anytime you have something to sort of confess really yeah, yeah. they um you'll be there every day you'll be there every day so then like again like that concept in islam we reject it because it's like you don't expose your sins you ask god directly for forgiveness yeah so then and then it's like who can forgive excluding allah so then your priest will say, oh, read Hail Marys this many times and do this that many times. And I'm like, where did you get that from? With us, we have heritage of like the Quran and the Hadiths. And the Hadiths, the Sunnah, is the statements of the Prophet, the actions of the Prophet that's been preserved, things he permitted, right? Things that um, was recommended by him. And then we, we design our lifestyle around that, guidance from that as well. So to say that Islam is just based on the Quran would be unfair. It's a combination of the Quran as well as the Sunnah. So here you go. I think I've taken up enough of your time. Look, I'll take <laughs> that. <laughs> you take care of yourself, Rebecca. <laughs>